Good morning. I look a little crazy. I just went into the bagel shop looking like this. Could have brushed my hair maybe. I literally look like I just rolled out of bed and I did. So just went to my favorite bagel shop. That's like down the street from me. I say favorite. I haven't really tried a lot, but it's my favorite. Oh, it's so fucking good. They have a pizza bagel. That's literally so good. And a blueberry bagel. But I get the same thing every time now, ever since I tried this sandwich. It's so fucking good. Let me show you. I literally woke up craving this. Hold on. Hold on. can't even talk about it. It comes with chips. Do I need chips first thing in the morning? No. You wanna know what the first thing I ingested was this morning? I inhaled this morning was? Last night I went to Cheesecake Factory and they had half off cheesecakes and I did get a chocolate cheesecake. And I did wake up, first thing I did, eat like a quarter of it. So that was the first thing I inhaled this morning and it was really fucking good and I almost ate the whole thing. Well, I ate half of it last night, so I almost ate the second half this morning. But I stopped myself because I was like, maybe I should eat something with a little bit of something. A little bit of some sustenance. Also, I need a little dessert later. I could save that for my dessert later. I don't even like cheesecake, but I guess I should say, like, I don't like plain cheesecake. If it's like a, if it's a chocolate cheesecake, yeah, I will eat that. I will get into that every time. Let me fucking get into the sandwich and stop getting distracted. It literally, I'm like very happy right now. And yes, I did go get this bagel with $80 in my bank account. Now I have 70. It's double egg, double bacon, cheese, and avocado. The avocado is like oozing out. It's so fucking good. I'm gonna take this inside and eat because I started watching Love Island and it's so, so good. And I just wanna watch that right now. So it's like, I like to travel around. Why do I just look literally insane? I'm eating my bagel. In my bed. Sorry. I'm watching the two people with accents on the TV. Pissing me off. Rob is annoying. Last time I got this, passed out right after and slept for like four hours. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. I know you're Go! I finished my bagel. What if I eat the cheesecake right now? Is that a bad idea? No. It's 8 a.m. I should not do that. It's many hours later. I went somewhere with my mom. I thought it was gonna take like two hours. It ended up taking like five. So that was fun. I just got home and I'm literally so hungry. This lighting is crazy. I went to a few stores and I'm gonna show you what I got really quick. I got this little ring. It's so cute. It was $2. Definitely does not fit. It had like a little thing on it, which like I knew it was gonna be bigger once I took the little thing off, but it's definitely loose. It's still cute. I like it. My mom wanted to go to Hobby Lobby. Okay. I got this mini spoon rest because I thought it was cute. And it kind of reminds me of Alice in Wonderland for some reason. I don't know. I'm about to cook fried rice. Let me show you the fried rice I'm making. I'm making chicken fried rice from Trader Joe's. I love Trader Joe's. This is not that great. I don't say that about a lot of things from Trader Joe's, but I'm saying it about this. There's like not a lot of chicken in it. Should I just eat the whole thing? I don't think I can eat the whole thing. I have the next five days off, which is crazy because I never have that many days off. And I don't know what to do with myself, really. I was supposed to go to Lollapalooza, but some things happened and I'm not going to Lollapalooza anymore. My ticket sold yesterday, which was good. I'm not going anymore, which is sad, but also things happen. There's a lot. I'm gonna eat this fried rice and I'm gonna eat the rest of this fucking cheesecake. It looks crazy, but it's so... It's really good. Oh my god, I can't wait. I'm going to watch Love Island and just rot in my bed for a little bit. That's what's happening. I had a water, like a giant fucking water in the fridge that I put in there yesterday. And I guess it spilled last night. And I woke up and there was a puddle in the middle of the ground. And I was like, bro, did Waffle pee? Because like, he does not do that. Like, he just doesn't. He goes outside. I was freaking out a little because I was like, is there something wrong with him? Like, that's the only reason he would ever pee inside. But it turns out it was just the water from the fridge. And it just for some reason made a puddle in the middle of the fridge, but it spilled everywhere. I don't like talking to men. At my big age, I've never in my life dated, okay? Never in my adult life have I dated. I don't think I'm a fan at all. This is what it looks like. The chicken just like looks questionable and it's like just not that tasty, not that flavorful. They have some good stuff though. I just didn't get the right thing. Good morning. I literally just cracked my eyes open. It's beach day. Go to the beach alone. I feel like I just busted out of my uh, my shell like like a caterpillar coming out of the gooeyness. That's what I feel like. I 
nails are painted. I painted them last night. Let's go to the beach, beach. Let's go get away. I don't know which beach I should go to. I should probably look that up and see where we want to go. I think I'm going to go to Coco Beach because it's like 45 minutes closer. I really like, okay, my favorite side is like the Tampa side because I'm not a wave person. I don't like waves. It just that make me anxious. But I think I'm just gonna go there because it's closer. It's be like kind of cloudy today, which is fine, I guess. It's more cloudy in Tampa, so this is fine. I need to pack my bag though. I'm gonna use this bag that my friend gave to me. In my Emily Henry era. I do love Emily Henry. I think I'm gonna pack three towels because I need one to like dry off and then I think I'm gonna use two to like lay on. Also, I need a book. Let's pick out a book. This is the issue. This is my current read. It's on page 240. I don't have a lot left. I'm bored of it and I don't want to read it anymore. Like I literally just want it to be over. It was so good up until a certain part and now I'm just like kind of over it. I have less than 100 pages left. I'm like what are we even doing at this point? So I might just bring that just in case but I think I want to bring a different book to start even though I know I should finish that one first because I might never finish it if I start something else. I have these two books. I got from Target recently. Better than the movies and the seven year slip. What are we thinking? I heard this was like really, really good. But I think I'm in the mood for this. I'm just in the mood for like a really cute romance. Give it to me. Sorry. So I have a red nail polish on my leg that, that I got on my leg last night when I was painting my nails. And I just thought it was blood for a second. And I was like, oh my God, what is happening? But it's nail polish. Get this freaking sticker off. Better than the movies. I'm upset because I was in I was in the worst reading slump for like months, like eight months. And then finally, I read this book, Not in Love, and it kind of got me out of it. And I was like, oh my god, like, I need to read something else, please. This shit was so fucking good. And then this is putting me back in it because I really thought this was like so good. And then what the, like, I'm literally so over it. What do I do? I was like so ready to buy the second book, ready. Maybe I should, maybe I feel better if I finish it. I don't know. We'll just read both. I need sunscreen. I have, I have super goop. I don't have a lot of sunscreen though. These little mini ones that I'm using. I don't have a lot for my body. And I do want to get tan, but I do also want to be protected from the sun. I don't really want to get that tan. Oh my God, I forgot that I got, I forgot that I got gummies last night. Also, I'm gonna try this. Even I know this is literally a sample and literally the smallest thing ever, but I wanna try this and see if it's good. Not a balanced breakfast. What should I wear? I guess I'll just wear shorts and a t-shirt. We're using these two towels and then my other towel. I'm so excited. I'm taking my iron gummies. It tastes like blood, literally. I think I'm gonna stop and get food somewhere. I don't know where yet, but we'll figure that out because I don't want to make food. I'm all packed and I'm ready to go. I'm at the beach. It's kind of weird because no one else is here in these parking spots at all. It's just me and that's kind of freaking me out. I cannot believe I just paid $10 for this. Five bucks an hour. Crazy. I also got a snack. So, definitely went to the beach, got home, took a shower, and went to sleep. I wasn't even like tired, but I did sleep. I'm trying to like not let myself feel bad about it. <laughs> Cause like, I can do whatever I want. If I want to sleep a little, I can't. I only slept for like three hours. It's not like 4.35, it's storming outside. I'm watching more YouTube. I think I'm about to go to Panera and get a sandwich and soup. Because why not? And I got a discount right now. Also, when I was at the beach, I was like the only person parked in this area. And I go out and there's like no one. A bunch of people down kind of really far some people in the water down there but there's no one in the water where i'm at and there's like two people next to me far kind of far so i'm just like by myself and i felt weird this is weird like no one's in the water i feel weird getting in the water so i'm like laying there and it's fucking hot as fuck i'm literally dripping sweat and i'm like okay i'm about to like get in the water it's hot i'm dying so i start like getting in the water and there's this lady and her daughter they start going to the water but they're just like at the edge and i start walking in a little and then there's this other guy down a little it's like kind of in he's like to his mid calf i guess and i'm like bro i really want to get in this water and just like go under real quick and just get out like i just this is like spooky at this point because like why is no one getting in the water there's a bunch of people in the water like literally way down but i'm not down there 
And then I start like getting in the water a little bit. I'm like maybe just below knee when the waves hit. Do I get in? Like why is nobody in the water? I don't want to get in by myself and be the only one to fucking a shark come. Anyways, I'm standing there and I'm like, whatever. The lady in the water with her daughter, she's like, um, ma'am, I just want to let you know there's a shark like right there. And I was like, oh, oh, thank you so much. Thank you. And just start backing up slowly. It's definitely a shark. It was a shark. It was not a big shark, but it was a shark in more shallow water than I think it should have been, but I actually don't know anything about sharks, so I don't know. It could have easily been like a harmless shark. I don't know, but I just start backing up and I'm like, oh, and it's literally like, it's literally like five or six feet away from me in the water, in the way he's swimming. And then I see the guy, he's like starting to get in more and I'm like, sir. Shark and he sees it and then he's just like whoa and I was like what the fuck and I saw it like fin and tail and yeah that was a little bit crazy so after that I didn't get in the water I just kind of like sat in the really shallow and just like cooled myself down because it was literally so hot I got out instantly sweating basically instantly dry because it's so hot instantly sweating ripping so I go back and I sit in the water again and I'm like bro what the it probably looks like I'm just peeing in the water but I literally am just trying to like get cooled down because I'm overheating and then I go back and I was like you know what I'm leaving so I was only there for like an hour but like it was too hot for me to not be just like in the water so I had to leave also I did not even get any tan I don't think it's fine it's pouring outside look at waffle he like won't lay on his bed I don't know why he just like uses it as a pillow. It's very much pouring, so I think I should wait a little bit for it to slow down and then go get Panera because I'm so hungry. Hit me on a mountain, me like a thing. Got my Panera. Panera haul. Empty bag of chips that I already ate in the car ride home. Another bag of chips. We'll save for later. Then I got a. What did I get? A chicken avocado chipotle chicken avocado sandwich broccoli cheddar soup this the sandwich was free so i just paid for the soup and i went to watch love island let's go let's get to watching i need to get to casa more or whatever it's called where they just start going crazy i still haven't got to no you sent it to me home and i'm waiting for it i do not like that man i'm on episode 13. Oh yes God. i'm eating my bed I'm so glad Andrea's gone. Andrea, sorry. Good morning. It's Sunday. I'm just, I'm gonna do some things today that I need to do. First being taking all this stuff back here to Plato's closet to try to sell whatever they'll take. Oh. My car just turned off. There's already cars parked here so like like people waiting in their cars so i'm wondering if they're also getting ready to sell last time i came here i had two bags i think and they were trash bags and i walked in there they were like oh are you selling today and i said yeah and then she goes well, we're actually not accepting trash bags anymore so and just like stares at me and i was like oh okay thanks thank you because why did it, i was just here like not that long ago and they accepted them so that was great so i did drive all the way back home and then not too long after i went to a place called avalon exchange which is like a similar thing and i took these bags and i like go to walk up and the door says only one bag per day i said oh lovely because why was i on the web okay i literally went on the website and double checked all the rules before I went because I was like, I'm not going to have the same thing happen because Avalon Exchange is farther away. So I was like, I'm not going to have the same thing happen. Drive all the way to Avalon Exchange and then them go, actually, no. So I looked through all the rules. Nothing said one bag. It's okay. I went there. I got like $34. They only took, I think, like six things. So now i'm bringing all these bags in i don't think there's a limit on bags but we're gonna fucking see i guess there wasn't when i checked on the website we're just gonna try to get a little bit of money and then we're going to get some food and then and then what are we gonna do i'm gonna probably need to clean 
anyways moving on they open in four minutes i have four minutes left let's talk about books i just finished butcher and blackbird the other night and it was fine it was really good up until like the last quarter of it i gave it four stars on goodreads but i'll probably give it like a 3.75 maybe even a 3.5 probably I don't know if I'm gonna read the next one. I think this is the next book I'm gonna start, Just for the Summer by Abby Jimenez. This book is fucking massive. Two minutes. Should I like go up? Cause I feel like, no, there's only like three cars. So regardless, it's fine. I don't mind waiting. I can't believe it's like fall. Dude, today it's, while it is very humid, it's so nice out because the sun is not out and it's like very cloudy and windy and like it looks like it's about to rain. And I love that weather. That was. That was crazy. I like started walking up and like those three cars that were waiting to go up, like 20 fucking people got out of each car. That's an exaggeration. But a lot of people got out of each car. Only one other person was selling. So many people just went in to shop. Y'all are y'all are waiting for opening at Plato's Closet. That's wild. She said it'll be 30 minutes, so I'm gonna go get something to eat. I'm out of breath. I need to start working out again. You know what? Today's the day. It's literally been 48 minutes. What happened in 30 minutes? I wanna go home. I've been reading. I read the first chapter. Are you out of the woods? Are you out of the woods? They're taking so long. It's an hour later, it's 12 o'clock. And I got $28 for my stuff. So, so far I've made 60 bucks. I'm selling my clothes. absolutely zero recollection of what happened at this i don't know what i did no clue so that is all i vlogged and that is the end of the video we're just gonna pretend and assume that i went to sleep because that is probably what happened so hope you enjoyed bye